All right, guys, so I've been really excited about this for a while. This is my first build on the channel, and it's, I'm not getting all new parts. I've got a rig already, um, but I'm gonna be transplanting that rig into this one right here. So, this is the NZXT H440 Hyper Beast Edition, and I could not be more excited to build this. So let's get right into it. Let's get this thing unboxed. Oh yeah, and I'm doing this in my kitchen because I don't have enough space in the studio. So, yeah. Also, I've never used this mic before. So uh, leave a comment below at the end of this. Let me know how that sounds. Oh man, this thing is cool. <sighs> how am I gonna get this out of here? I guess we're just gonna have to tip her over. Oh man. All right, where's the bottom? Right here. Wow, this thing is cold. It has been on my front porch. I just got home. It's like 20 degrees outside. Looks like you still gotta get one side off. I didn't think that through. Did it make you nervous there? That is a very pretty case. So, let's see what we got here. Some documentation that was underneath it, I believe. Oh. Yeah. This is where it gets exciting. So, wow, the front has actually got a really glossy, this is actually metal. The front's made of metal. The whole thing's made of metal. This is definitely an upgrade from the S340. This looks like I've got the power button right here on top. I'll turn that so you can see it. Power button, uh, headphone, microphone, both three and a half millimeter, two USB threes, two USB twos. All right, well, I guess let's uh, open this up, see what's going on in here. I believe this has, yep, same old captive thumb screws as the last one. All in all, this is a very similar case to the S340. I mean, it's just like, well, well, okay then. This is just like the big brother. And this is, oh, wow. Look at that, there's foam in there. I like that. You know, let's put it, let's put it with the pattern facing up. Got some extra cables in here. Something in the hard drive bay. You can see right there the illuminated NZX, well, not currently illuminated, but the illuminating NZXT logo. Uh, ooh, and I'm gonna have to bring the camera over and show you guys this at the end. It is the uh, limited edition Hyper Beast badge. This is number, let's find out. What do we got here? Number 661 out of 1337. So I guess, oh man, that is cool. Oh, are there any fans that come on the front? Oh wow, yeah, it's full of fans. Three fans in the front, one on the back. I'm gonna take all my fans from my other case and put them in here. Before we freak out about this one too much, let's get my other computer disassembled. And then uh, we'll start messing around with this. So you guys will get to see my old rig. Which I haven't really talked about too much. It's not, well, I say old rig, it's not that old. I, I got old new parts for it. I want you to keep in mind that this is a great case and the parts that I'm putting in it don't necessarily do it justice. Uh, I built my rig on a budget for editing video. So here she is. This is my current case. This is the red and black NZXT S340. Let's get her all taken apart and I'll show you what's inside. I just don't want to lay it down on the counter. Gotta put a towel down. Let's find something to use to set all these parts on. All right, look at this. Christmas themed screwdriver. So let's start by getting out the GPU, seeing as that's gonna be one of the biggest obstacles. Oops, I forgot something. Forgot these have this little uh, lock on the back that holds the GPU in. All right. Here we have my 780Ti. Ooh, that nice reference cooler, which I absolutely love. I'm a big, big fan of those. Here, you know what? Set it right back here so we can keep an eye on it. Our RAM, we'll get that laid out here. We have one, two, three, four sticks. Corsair of Engines, this is 32 gigs. I couldn't get 64 to work on this motherboard, so 32 gigs it is. 
Kingston 240 gig SSD. Oh, the motherboard power is in an insane spot. I don't know how I'm gonna get that out without taking the cooler off. Let's see if we can figure that out. Ugh, new idea for the CPU power. I'm going to unhook it from the power supply on the back, and then I'm going to just slide the cable out with it. Cause I don't think I'm gonna be able to unplug it cause I got it in there really, really tight. Gotta have that cable management. Oh, there it is. Look at that. So just like the H440, the S340 has a little plate you mount the power supply onto and then it slides right out. There's probably a way this could have been a little bit easier. Oh yeah. I put in a whole bunch of zip ties. Got what I needed. This is really weird to do with a cable like connected to me, you know? I'm still getting used to that. I mean, I'm used to like having like an anti-static wristband, but all right, I finally got that unhooked. I turned off my camera for a minute because I didn't want to waste too much battery. And then I found out that that cable is connected directly to the power supply because it's not fully modular, it's just semi-modular. So, new, new plan. I lift the motherboard out just a little bit and see if I can get it unhooked. So first I'm gonna have to take out all the motherboard screws. This would be great if I didn't leave my iFixit toolkit at work, but I did. I was too excited to get here and get this done. You know, I'll say iFixit's got some pretty great kits, but Cobalt makes some great screwdrivers. I have to have one of these in my toolkit at all times. I don't know what it is, but like screws that I can't get out with other screwdrivers, I can just do easily with these. I don't know why. It's just how they are. It's just how it be. That was a total nightmare. So now let's get the last of this out. I'm going to take the rest of my screws off of this plate and put the plate back on the S340 and put the side panels back on it. I still got to get my IO shield. Now, normally I would say it's a wise idea to test all your equipment and make sure it works before building it, but I already know it all works because it was already in my computer. So we're just gonna skip that step and just pretend that I did that, okay? Just pretend that I tested everything. If I put it all together and it doesn't work, you can laugh at me. I won't judge. Let me tell you, that was really hard to press that play button on my camera. Okay, but now that we're here, Let's get the build going. So this is the bottom, this is the top, you see the logo right there. Let's start with, let's start with the motherboard, you know? Just jump right into things. I'm gonna put in my IO shield right here. I like these padded ones because they can absorb some sound, but the downside is it makes it kind of hard to put the motherboard in. Uh, make sure that all these are in the right position. They are, and don't do what I'm doing. I know I'm grabbing it by the cooler. A lot of the weight is on my other hand, but don't do that. Don't ever do that. Don't do what I'm doing. Oh, this is gonna be so much easier to screw in. There's so much more space in here. That's absolutely fantastic. Huh, I did this in a way that's now going to be very difficult. because it looks like all, never mind, actually, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. So, oh, you look at that. Let's see if you can get that in front of the camera. How to build a PC. I felt like if I didn't know that, I would really not be here right now. Wow, that actually looks like a nice case. So, let's grab our motherboard screws. There we go. Now we're doing it right. Yeah, there we go. Nice and seated. I do like to go in a cross pattern. I know it's not really necessary with motherboards, but I still like to, just to kind of make sure that they are evenly tight on all sides. I, heard, I sure hope my microphone battery doesn't die while I'm doing this. That would not be great. I think I have another nine volt here somewhere. On the bright side, at least the camera has a battery. And unlike my last camera, this one doesn't stop recording as frequently. My last camera would always just say, video has stopped recording, video stopped recording, like every like 45 seconds. Oh, this is gonna be excellent. All right, looks like the motherboard is secure. I'm gonna get these extra screws all out of the way. Uh, we might as well go on and get the SATA plugged up since that's gonna go under the GPU. Then I'll do the GPU and then I will do power. So when I run these SATAs, I'm going to need to put my SSD in. So let's get this mount ready for the SSD. I love dropping things into here, my favorite. You know, these are exactly the same. I could have just left that on. Oh well, this one's a little bit darker, I think. And slightly less worn. So I have taken that SSD out a couple times and that's going to go right there. So looks like I'm gonna have to get the back off this bad boy. You might not be able to see much for a moment, because let me tell you, that camera was hard to get up there, and I'm not gonna be moving it for a little while. I was gonna have a buddy of mine actually walk around with me with a second camera and help me film, but he ended up being busy. Foam. Oh man, this is a pretty case. All around, just a pretty case. So let's see, where do I need to run these? Ooh. It's all good, we're all good. So, one end is gonna have to come up right here. The other end, there, oh, well, that's not very far at all. 
All right, we'll put this in after I get power run up there too. Um, so, you know what? I actually think probably is about time to run power. That's gonna be a pain, but gotta be done at some point. Huh, you hey, look at that. I never even took the sticker or the uh, little plastic protector off this power supply and I've had it for how long? There you go. A little bit of satisfaction right there. Sweet. At the very end of this video, I'm gonna go over everything and talk about all the features this case has that I've been able to find. I don't have like a data sheet or anything like that for it. I'm just kinda rolling with it. Slides right in, nice and neat. I love that, absolutely love it. Let's see, CPU power, it's gonna have to go right up here. And motherboard power, I believe, goes through this middle one. Yes, indeed it does. So let's get those hooked up. I'm now noticing one of the big differences between this and the S340 is that this doesn't have that bar for cable management, but I mean, next best thing, it has all these big ports. I just hit my funny bone on the case. All right, nice and sleek. So let's get SATA power. It looks like there's a fan hub right here too for all the fans. I wonder if this connects to any kind of controller. One way to find out, I guess. USB, HD audio. I don't see any kind of controller on here. Uh, you know what, let's leave that twisted up for now. We'll deal with that in a moment. Well, actually, you know what, no. I wanna dig in, I wanna find out what we got here. All right, so we've got a Molex, a few fan headers right here. This is for, ah, so this is for fan speed. Here's an extension in case I need to run another one, I guess, somewhere farther. Well, all that can just be out of the way for now. All right, there's SATA, there's Molex, and there's PCIe. So PCIe, should go through about right in this middle one. I believe, I do believe. Molex can stay back here for now. And SATA, where's our little SATA cable going? Here it is. We're gonna pretty this up later. I guess let's get the GPU in. Ooh. A little bit tight there, just a wee bit. And again, I guess this is not a very small graphics card. All right, there's PCIe power, which actually, you know what? That's gonna bother me. I'm gonna reroute this. We are gonna go through the next one down. because so I think that's just gonna bug me if it sits on top right there. There we go. That's not too bad looking. So let's get the RAM in here. Knock out everything we can on the front. So when it comes time to plug up our fans, I think I'm gonna plug that fan header into system fan three up here to control everything. Well, except for the CPU fan, of course, that's gonna kind of do its own thing. Gosh, I'm impressed with this case. Oh, I gotta run my power and everything for the case down there. This is a bowl of spaghetti, big bowl of spaghetti. Let's start sorting through everything. I'm gonna use this extension right here if I can. Yeah, there we go. And we'll run that up to the top to plug up later. All of these are going to have to go through the bottom of the case. Push those off the side for now. Warning, do not connect while PC is turned on. Good thing I'm not. At some point, at some point my camera stopped recording and I don't know when, but I got all the power stuff ran. I have to take my SSD back out because I have to plug everything up to the bottom of the motherboard here. I didn't really think that through. All right, what do we got? What do we got, what do we got? Where do these connect? All right, now let's get this SSD back in here. I had to switch sides to make everything plug up properly. Also, I realized I'm dumb and I was looking in the, <laughs> I was looking in the cases manual to figure out how to hook up the motherboard's power pins. Yeah, I know. You can give me crap for it. That wasn't very smart on my behalf. I eventually remembered to reference my motherboard's manual. So I'm pretty sure I got everything, everything solid. Oh, you know. As soon as I say that, I remember I gotta plug this bad boy up right here. Let's see, I'm actually gonna switch this down here. This has actually got a PWM header right there. Okay, looks good. Now, I need to squeeze the back on and hide everything that I put back here. Wow, that actually fit on really easy. I've never had a case where the back fit on just like that. So cable management isn't perfect. Oh, look, it says Hyperbeast on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Cable management is not 100% perfect, but I will admit, 
I'm very excited, so I'm kind of kind of tanking through this thing to get it knocked out because I really want to turn it on. All right, you ready? Let's get these pulled off. All right, guys. If this thing works on the first time, subscribe. If you already are subscribed and it works on the first time, like. All right, bet. And if it doesn't do either, then I just suck. There we go, guys. I don't know if you can see that. But it looks like we're all good. So guys, if you like this and you like me doing build logs, let me know in the comments below or drop a like, you know? Maybe if you didn't just a second ago. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with my old case, so I may make a giveaway out of it. I'm not entirely sure. I may put it online. It's an S340. It's pretty much brand new. I still got the box for it. So we'll see what goes on there. But um, I need to tell you guys about the specs of this computer now that we've got it all up and going. The motherboard is an MSI 970A gaming motherboard with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM DDR3 and an FX8350 AMD processor with a Hyper 212 Evo to cool it. Now, keep in mind, this computer is designed to work on a budget and it was designed to edit video. So I went with, you know, a lot of cores, a lot of RAM and a good GPU for After Effects. That's pretty much it. I'm not planning on doing major gaming or anything like that here. Um, the GPU, as I said before, is a GeForce GTX 780 Ti, and it is pushing this 2560 by 1080 LG ultra wide display. And there is a Kingston 240 gig SSD in there and a few terabyte hard drives. Anyway, until next time, guys. Peace.